Freemasonry is the subject of various interpretations and remarks, and is often regarded as a mystic and secret society. The expression Masonic Lodge evokes in people different ideas, coupled with a lack of knowledge about the true objective of the Masonic process. Born out of the master builders of cathedrals, operative masonry became organized and created its own society. These masons travel continuously from one building site to another, freeing themselves of the authority of the guilds, the nobility, and the church. They formed free trades and paid no taxes. They became the Freemasons, whose importance developed from the 12th to the 14th centuries, and which thereafter gradually faded out. At the dawn of the Renaissance, the Reformation had, by opposing the church, rocked what was left of Rome and provoked a rupture within the Christian world. Galileo, basing himself on science and mathematics, had opened up a new world for researchers of his time and proved that the universe seemed infinite. Science progressed rapidly and a separation was established between the dogma of religion and the world of reason. At the end of the 17th century, there appeared the idea of a deity which, little by little, led to the notion of a creator, much like a grand architect, creating a world according to immovable rules. The transition of operative masonry to speculative masonry took place imperceptibly. The lodges of operative masons progressively welcomed members not belonging to the building trade, calling them accepted masons, who took part in discussions and were initiated. In the 18th century, two events were to make the development of speculative masonry. Firstly, a marked secularization. It contained a base on which all men could agree. Deism, a kind of natural religion, free of all inhibition and seeking the happiness of everyone. Secondly, a tendency for universality, which showed itself through an approach towards the thoughts of the enlightened, characterized by the respect for tolerance and fraternity. The revolution was going to consecrate this state of mind, manifested by many Masons, with the defense of rights of mankind and of the citizen, and the rejection of all dogmatism. The 19th century was the battleground for the extension of rights, notably for mutual respect and the thoughts of other people, and above all, the rights of women to obtain equal civic rights. It is in this field that by creating the International Order of Freemasonry for Men and Women, Le Doua Humain, Marie Durem, and Georges Martin were going to shatter the established order of many centuries and begin the liberation of women. Marie Durem, journalist and fighter for the rights of women and children, and Dr. Georges Martin, Senator, General Counselor for the Department of the Seine, Municipal Counselor of Paris, undertook campaigns in favor of the civic and political rights of women, the defense and the rights of oppressed children against clerical intolerance, and for the establishment of a neutral school respecting the ideas of everyone. Marie Durem was initiated on January 14, 1882, in Lodge Les Libres Penseurs, a peak, a small village to the west of Paris. This important initiation symbolized to the world the equality of females to males within the royal art also known as Freemasonry. Eleven years later, on April 4, 1893, Marie Durem and Georges Martin created the first mixed Masonic Lodge in Paris. Out of this mixed gender lodge came the birth of the International Order of Freemasonry for Men and Women, Le Doua Humain, establishing the equality of men and women. Marie Durem died on February 6, 1894, and the task of organizing and developing Le Doigt Humain fell on Dr. Martin. His energetic will placed him beyond frontiers, ethnic groups, religions, and cultures, and he very quickly founded lodges outside of France, in Switzerland, and in England. The order spread throughout Europe before sowing itself in other parts of the world. The International Order of Freemasonry for Men and Women was built out of a marvelous dream to unite humanity despite all the barriers, ethnic groups, geopolitics, religions, and cultures. It has about 30,000 members spread throughout 60 countries in the world and on five continents. 
in contrast with other Masonic organizations, which operate in national or state jurisdictions only. Le Droit Humain is a global fraternity with many federations and jurisdictions worldwide. Although the order is administered by the Supreme Council, which has its headquarters in Paris, each of these lodges work the ancient and accepted Scottish Rite from the 1st to the 33rd degree, and within the international constitution, member federations have the freedom of self-governance.